Well, I grew up in Conroe. I got recruited to work for a bank on Wall Street. Moved there right out of college. I don't know, I mean, I loved it. I mean, I lived in Times Square at like 48th and 8th. I had my first child there. I became a VP at 26 at a big bank. And then when my marriage was failing, I knew I couldn't live there anymore. And so I came back to Texas. Didn't have a job, had like a three-year-old and a nine-month-old. And I felt so out of place living in the suburbs, being this single mom with all these couples everywhere. I just felt lost. I'm like, this was not the life I signed up for. You know, I started getting back to church. I just was so reluctant to go. I don't know why, I didn't want to be the single mom at church. I'd heard about the loft and I'd heard about how accepting it was. I felt like I belonged there. Like I wasn't called out for my differences. You know, one of my goals was to get involved in the church in 2014, and I thought about it and I was like, well, okay, I'll go to Haiti, not knowing anything about Haiti. I, I knew it was meant to be, so that's why. You know, immediately when we got off the plane, it was just, it hit you. There was so much trash. It was shocking to me. And then these people were living in it, and it was just part of their life. I mean, I don't know. I, I just kind of felt lost again. Why did I sign up for this mission trip when I didn't even know where it was? I felt that a lot on the trip. It was an educational and medical mission trip. I wasn't a doctor, I wasn't a teacher. I was just you know, a businesswoman, works for a bank. And we went to this orphanage. I just loved it. I loved being around the babies. I loved just being around the children. But I remember when we spoke with the women, we went around the room. I, I wasn't the first person. I was like the last person. And here you and know, the ladies on our trip, oh, hi, I'm so-and-so, and I'm married, and I have this many kids. And then it gets to me, and I say, I was married, and now I'm not. And then they all started laughing, like all the women. I'm not thinking anything of it. And an interpreter kind of stopped and said, they didn't know that outsiders had trouble in marriages. I think that touched me the most, that I realized it wasn't about me. I didn't have to find my, quote, purpose or have an aha moment, that I was just there to be a normal person. I didn't need to be a doctor or a teacher or a spiritual leader of the group. I could just be myself, and it was enough. It was enough. You don't have to be anyone special. You just have to be you and show up. It's made me want to show up more. I love being part of a church that shows so much compassion for others.